Welcome back to my channel everyone, Street Tips here. What I have is a 49's Fine Credit Suisse 5 gram bar. And what we're going to do is I recently seen a video where they had one of these and they tested it with an XRF and it turned out to only be 90%, not 49's like is advertised on the front of the bar. Let's check the weight on this thing. Boom, it's spot on with five grams. And so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna dissolve this in some aqua regia, precipitate it back out and melt this up a little button. And then we're gonna check to make sure that this is in fact four nines gold and not just 90%. What I'll do is uh, begin by trying to bend this thing, just kind of twist it a little bit so that it should real soft, it should bend easily, and it does. And what we're doing is just gonna bend it like this so that it doesn't sit flat on the bottom of our reaction vessel. Begin the experiment by adding about, uh, I'll say 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to this beaker. Now what I'll do is uh, heat the gold with a torch. Red hot. We'll just drop this right on in the beaker now. Measure out about 50 milliliters, um, 68 to 70 percent reagent grade nitric acid. You don't have to have reagent grade here. You can use technical grade. It works just fine for refining silver and gold. Now what I'll do is put the uh, camera on time lapse. We'll dump in the nitric acid. It's going to make a uh, three to one, uh, three hydrochloric to one nitric acid uh, ratio, uh, aqua regia to dissolve this solid metal. We'll put it on time lapse. We're going to dump the nitric in and get this bar to dissolve. Here we go. got this all dissolved. It took several hours to get the uh, solution evaporated down until there's no more fumes in it. I'm gonna pull it down now and let it cool off. nitric still present that's what those fumes are I'm adding the SMB 
filtering it, I used a solution instead of just dumping the powder in. Yeah, you can see in here that the uh, there's a whole bunch of excess nitric still present. And that's why we're getting all that fume production. As the SMB goes in, it immediately redissolves. That'll continue to happen until all the excess nitrate gets consumed out of there. Dropping it in little by little until we get all of the uh, mold to precipitate out of there and those fumes clear up. tell by how it's looking right now that uh, all the gold has come down We've got 170 Fahrenheit 76.8 Celsius and that uh, that solution heated up quite a bit from that reaction Just taking too long so I'm gonna set up a filter flask here with a vacuum pulling on it let's get our gold in this funnel
It's got a little bit of flux on it. So I'm going to put it in this beaker, add some distilled water. I'm going to add some sulfuric acid. And this should uh, dissolve off that flux force very quickly. Got all the flux dissolved off of there now. Let's go ahead and take it in. Rinse this off and get a weight on our gold. Here's our gold button that we just dissolved and re-precipitated. And the goal here was to verify that we did have, in fact, five grams of pure gold from that bar. I seen a video where they had the five gram bar, but it was only 90%. So I didn't do any filtering. I didn't do any rinsing. And I poured the gold straight into a filter and burnt the filter and the gold in that melt dish. So if this thing is anything other than five grams, that means uh, that means that it uh, wasn't correct in accordance with the markings on that bar. Let's see what we got. 4.9. It flashed to five there for a second, so we might have had a little bit of a loss during the refining process. Again, the goal here. So that's valid. I think the uh, bar that was marked 9999, five grams of pure gold was in fact correct. So uh, that's what we've done here. We've just verified that the correct markings were on that bar. Okay, this will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.